Kaduna State-based Islamic scholar Sheikh Abubakar Gumi has said that Fulani bandits are at war with Ansaru terrorist groups who infiltrated the northern part of the country. Guidance reports. According to him, the vision of the bandits living in the bush is different from the ideology of terrorist groups which infiltrated the country, maintaining that a Fulani man is not fanatical but more concerned about survivor. He said the bandits had given the Ansaru terrorists 10 days to vacate their territory. The cleric called on government to quickly intervene, noting that their visits to the forest were yielding positive results. Gumi said following his cancer, the bandits resisted attempts by the Ansaru terrorists to indoctrinate them. He asserted that the bandits were doing what the military ought to be doing to the forests, fighting and killing them. When asked how bandits could be differentiated from foreign invaders, the cleric said there is infiltration by Islamic terrorist group. Yes, they have infiltrated the Fulani, but the Fulani have a vision. There is, theirs is to fight existential, existential war. For example, they can't go to market or travel to Zuru because they would be lynched. So the best thing is to get weapons to fight. They will also say... They will say the military too is killing their children and women, so they accept the full learning from outside to assist them. But as they are coming in, some of the elements of Islamic terrorists join them. Narrating how the bandits resist the terrorist antics, Gumi said, When we went to Niger State, we spoke with one of the gang leaders to join in the peace process. He was even the one who negotiated the release of the Kangara boys and others. After we came out... He talked to the contacts, telling them that they were approached by the Ansaru groups who told them that no, who told them not to trust me and my entourage, that they that we are democratic scholars and shouldn't be welcomed. This is why I'm urging governments to intervene fast. No time to waste. According to the cleric, the bandit leader replied the Ansarus that his entourage had deeper knowledge of Islam than the Ansarus, adding that they would continue to they would continue with the mediation and so he added the Ansaru later ambushed the man's uncle and killed him so the bandit leader has given the Ansaru terrorists 10 days to vacate the bush the cleric however disclosed that some individuals were cashing in on the security challenges in the country where the defense budget is unaccounted whoever is in the chain of when money is made available for defense. Whoever benefits wouldn't want the problem to stop because defense budget is unaccounted for. I found that the resistance is from where money is made available, Gumi said. Hmm. So guys, can you see? They, of course, these guys are just playing to the gallery. So it is Gumi now. He now knows the... He, I don't know. Is he working with these people? Of course, people, I'm just asking this kind of question because we have a government. Is it not worried that just gave order that uh, all the bandits or whatever that they should, should they should be taken out? Uh, meanwhile, some people will use their mind to be doing church or church or church or church. When it comes to get to Eastern security, they will be talking. Hey, this and this and that. This and this and this and that. But see what Gumi is doing. Everybody is not tired. Everybody is used to what he's saying. Is, are, you, are you working with them? Or you are, you now know all their secrets. You are telling government to intervene, to do what? I don't understand. The government knows where the problem is, but they are looking the other way. They are going after Namdekanu, IPOP, and Sunday Bo, going after the Dua Republic. But see all these things that they are doing. But the worst part of it is that I see some Yoruba people even blaming Sunday Bo. A lot of them, that's what is their problem. This and that, an Islamic cleric in the in the Southwest too, has warned the Yorubas in diaspora that what is their problem? Why are they supporting this, this uh, people? Why are they talking about uh, disintegration? And, uh, what is this man's name? The the vice president is talking about uh, uh, if there's division, uh, people will not get visa or they will need visa to go to Kano. All those kind of cock and bull stories. Talk on th this issue. Talk on these things on, in that place. Taxpayers' monies have just been expended. You see, they can't even account for... And that is the reason why the security vote is so important to these uh, governors. They don't even use it. They can't even account for it. They can do whatever they want to do with it. That's why they are all pussyfooty with this whole thing. And all of them are cashing out and using uh, the, the incompetence of the president, you know, doing uh, uh, whatever they like. 
they can't even rally around the president whether they listen to themselves is a different thing entirely but coming to gumi again is just so see the way gumi is narrating everything he's working in hand in hand with the bandits and they are going elsewhere the security operations are going somewhere i learned that they said they arrested some uh, urobo men this guy seen as full and yes men whether in delta state of course urobo is in delta so those are the things you hear police be talking about, but they, they won't say anything. They have left the old work for Gumi. Now, see, like, see the way Gumi is negotiating, talking here and there. He knows everything. Oh, he was even one of them that uh, negotiated uh, with a uh, Kangara boys, that uh, Kangara boys release. You see? Oh my god, the country, you know, balance. Too. <laughs> this man is working hard to ensure, very, he's working very hard to ensure that. That he loses all the respect he earned over the years by defending the obvious despite being a clergy of which truth is what is expected from such an individual. See, the, <laughs> honestly, I don't even know what to say. Survivor by killing another human being for ransom, please go learn common sense. Fulani and Boko Haram are the same. Bring, they are the same thing with the same ideology. These people just keep feeding the mumus in Nigeria with all kinds of nonsense. The problem is that no matter the garbage they churn out, there is a great proportion of the 200 million that we believe them as they were hypnotized. I pity for this nation. Terrorists now have a proud spokesperson. It's not only Fulani that uh, is concerned with a survivor. Every Nigeria is concerned with survivor and they don't carry guns key people to survive if an ego man uh, do what uh, want to survive he leave a bar to Kano, pay for shop and start business yoruba igala tv and so on they don't need gun to survive stop teaching people how to use gun to survive if any moment from now everybody will be on the run god forbid i heard in the news today as Buaris parting order to the security agents go after the leaders of these bandits so why are this uh, the security agents not acting uh, or are they disobeying the president's directives no the police are going elsewhere in ondo state the 50 cows that say uh, that died mysteriously police have started investigating they started investigation sincerely worry faith in nigeria citizens see the devil is prison devil in a country we said we have president. When well, we say we have president, Gumi, I know cause you because it is not your fault, but you know go better for you. Okay. Those accusing Gumi falsely should be better informed. He has clearly disassociated himself from Chicago and his terrorists. The calling of the Islamic cleric is to act as spokesperson for the spokesman for bandits and kidnappers. Inshallah, Gumi's bandits will defeat <laughs> Chicago terrorists. Terrorism has become a huge business in Nigeria. See the way they are. And, oh my God, why would they not do that? Because they have uh, somebody who is not a uh, who does not know what is happening. Who is so incompetent? So guys, let's say your opinion. So so messy. <laughs>